Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. We are about to see how I did in the Dreamers Unite challenge and then we are going to do some voting on last week's challenge and check out the new theme for this week's challenge. So last week I placed 2,766 in the Rainbows challenge, which was 4,000 Moonstones. And I found that the Dreamers Unite challenge, it was a lot of fun and I could express my true self, like what I love about my valley. And it's totally the one area that is up in the Forgotten Lands because I can decorate that like a kind of fall Halloween theme. And that is so me. I even got married to my husband on Halloween, just so you all know. And I dressed up for the occasion. I was the Black Widow. Anyway, so let's see if this week's picture was enough to get me 4,000 Moonstones again. I am very excited as always to see the results. So let's go over to our mailbox and keep our fingers crossed that we did okay this week. All right, I scored 63.98, which is lower, but oh well, I'm not even keeping track of the score anymore. And I ranked 2,955. I can claim 4,000 Moonstones and I will get 164 Pixel Dust. So yes, that is very cool. I made 4,000 again. I am so excited about that. I'm excited no matter what I get. I know I've said that before, but 4,000, that makes me so happy. All right, let's go ahead and claim that and let's check out what's in the chest. Here we go. Oh, I love the snow castle. I think it is so cute. I do have that already, but I can use another one up in my winter wonderland. And a mannequin. Okay. I like the other mannequins better because you can actually do stuff with them, but this one's great. And a bookshelf. I don't, I think I have that. All right, so that was our furniture. It was a furniture challenge. Oh no, that was a new bookshelf. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. I got something new, woohoo. All right, let me show you my picture from the Dreamers Unite challenge. I had a lot of fun with this challenge. I basically had this area already set up in the Forgotten Lands and I just needed to like incorporate a couple little required items into the background. And you know, it's gonna be fall Halloween before we even know it. And fall is my absolute favorite season. So this area with all the pumpkins and fall colors is what I think makes my village a little more unique. However, I have a feeling I'm not the only one that picked a fall theme for their Dreamers Unite picture. So it might not be as unique as I was thinking it was, but I was thinking about it being unique to me. Like this is me. I love fall. I love all the fall colors. I love wearing fall clothes. I know I love summer too, but I can let that go and wear my sweatshirts. I love cozy clothes and fall is like the best time for cozy clothes, which is also why I picked the outfit I was wearing. Do you think it was worth what it got? I think so. I think in the top 3,000, I'm really happy with that. I am not upset. And if even if I go back down to the top 10,000 again, whatever, top 100,000, <laughs> I just want to get a couple moonstones, you know, and I'm really, really happy when I get 4,000. So yeah, so that was the picture. And I also want to remind you to make sure you check out my Discord and post your submissions in the Dream Snaps Photos channel. If you all want inspiration, make sure you check it out. There's some really good good picture takers in there. They got some great designers. The info is in the description. And as always, I will never post my current picture in Discord or on any other social media until after the voting ends. So there are no spoilers in there for you. It's now time to check out this week's theme. I am so excited. And our current challenge is a dreamy kitchen. So all of you cooks and bakers out there, this is going to be the one for you. If you like decorating kitchens, this one's going to be a good one for you. So you need five kitchen items, five traditional items, and then the suggested items are <laughs> ratatouille. Someone helped me pronounce that at one point, and I should have watched the movie again, and I would have remembered how to say it, but I didn't. So our suggested are ratatouille and rustic, which I love rustic. I don't know how I'm going to do on this one. Inside Indoor decorating, I'm not that big on, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. It's a decor challenge, and it says, what's cooking? Your best and most stylish kitchen designs. And... You know what? I have not been buying the kitchen cabinets and cupboards and stuff. So I don't even know what I have for this challenge. But you know what? I'll keep my fingers crossed as I do it and hope for the best. How's that? It is time to do some voting on last week's challenge. Let's go ahead and do it. I'm so excited. I'm really looking forward to this. As I am with all the challenges. I won't show you my pick, obviously. But when I created mine, I chose a dark place. Hint, hint. Where the decor would look like it belonged and my outfit would fit in. I, I have to bring this up, okay? In my last video, I said that you could move Ursula's house for this last challenge, and I was completely wrong. I was corrected, and I appreciate that user for correcting me because I was able to put a comment 
you know, pin a comment underneath there saying I was wrong, but I thought I should do it here as well. I was totally wrong. You cannot move that off the beach. You can't move it onto land. I didn't test that and I should have, but you know what? Enough of that. It's time to vote. Let's just keep moving. Let's just keep moving with this video. Okay, here's our first two pictures. Let's check them out. Let's make this one a little bigger. And I like this one. It's very simple. And remember, Forget Me Not was an outfit challenge. So the most important thing here is the outfit. And so I do really like her outfit. It's very adorable. Let's check out the other one. And I like that outfit as well. I love that they're wearing the wings. The I think those are called like the, the they're night thorn wings or something like that. I love that they're wearing that. I love the black dress. I love everything about this one. So let's see, which one do we want to vote for? This one's really hard. Okay, you know what? I'm going to go with this one on the left. How's that? Let's do the one on the left. All right, then we have our next two. Let's blow this one up. And this is really cute. I love the outfit. I love the necklace. <laughs> I love I love the gloves. I almost wore those. I did not, but I almost did. And I love that they got one of the night thorns in there. And by the way, I tried so hard to get night thorns in my picture. At least the ones that spawn. I could not get them to spawn. If you watched my video from the other day, I tried. I tried four days in a row, to be honest, and I could not get them to spawn. So that's that. But I love that they were able to get it to spawn. And let's look at this one. This one was actually a great place to do it right where the treehouse is because there was all of those night thorns around it. And I love that they used the uh, thorn vines. I did recommend those two in my in my video. I love this and I love the outfit. Of course, we're supposed to be looking at the outfit, right? I'm supposed to be looking at the outfit. I love this outfit. I think we're going to go ahead and vote for that one, the one on the left. And these two. Oh, I love the hair. I love the hair. I love the outfit. I love the hair. And I love that they used that chair. That is awesome. Okay, let's check the other one out. And look at the sun in the background. I love this outfit. I love it with the gloves. Oh, I so wish I had worn the gloves now. I do. I so wish. All right. I do love this outfit, so I am going to go with this one here on the left. And then we have these two. These two are nice, too. Oh, this one. Oh, they paired it with a skirt. Okay, let's open this one up. Oh, shoot. I just voted on that one. I do it every time. I just voted. But that's okay, because I did like that she did the skirt. So I think that was awesome. An awesome little twist to that outfit. All right, let's look at these two. Let's do this again. Oh, I love that dress. Okay, I love the dress. I love the glasses, too. I love it. Okay, let's go look at the other one. Got this one here. Oh, the same dress. That's the same dress, isn't it? I love this. And I love the background. I love that they did it inside with the night thorn wallpaper, I guess you can call that. Oh, boy. You know what? She's got the horns in, in her hair and the wings. Okay, let's back out. Oh, okay. This one used, okay. You know what? This one used the actual thorn wings. I'm going to go ahead and vote for the one on the left. And then we have these two. I love how the pictures are so similar, right? All right. Let's open this one up. Oh, that was smart using the glow. I guess that's the glow squirrel. Okay. I love that. I love the outfit. I love the background. They did use the mountains in the forgotten lands. I love that as their background. Let's back out of here. And where are we at? Oh, we went to the night castle. Okay. I like the night castle. I love it. And I love the outfit. Of course, I'm going to love this outfit because it is the perfect outfit for this challenge. So let's see which one we want to vote for. Let's back out. Oh, gosh, this is kind of hard. This one is hard. Let's vote for the one on the right. And we've got these two. Okay, I do love this. I love this room. I actually have a room set up just like this in my haunted house is what I'm calling my castle. Let's look at the next one. Okay, I like this one too. Oh boy, this one's a hard one. Okay, let me back out. Let's look at them side by side again. It's an outfit challenge. I have to remember that. You know what? I'm going to go with the one on the left. All right, let's take a look at these two. We have the same outfit that everyone's wearing, which I'm cool with. I think it's a great outfit and I love that everyone's doing this. Let's back out of here and look at the other one. Oh, I love that pose. Okay. I like this pose. I think, honestly, the pose is great. I am going to go with this one on the right. 
then let's look at this one real quick. I like this. I, I like the Mother Gothels in it. I do. Okay, I love the outfit. I love the top hat with it. Everyone's wearing the gloves. I'm now so bummed that I didn't choose to put the gloves on. I think I took them off at the last minute. I had like a couple placers that I actually used the gloves and then I finally just decided on something different. I mean, same picture, just without the gloves. Check this one out. Oh, did I? I just voted on the one on the right. I did it again. Oh, man. All right, let's go to look at this one then. I like this picture. I like how it looks back through there. I, I think that's a great background. Even though the background shouldn't matter, it kind of does. And I love the scroll. Okay, let's look at the other one without clicking on it. <laughs> oh, I love that outfit. It, oh, I love that outfit as well. And I love the purple squirrel, uh, the glowing squirrel, I should say. Gosh, you know what? I'm going to go with this one because I really, really like the background. Ooh, what do we have here? Let's open this one up. Oh, this one's really cute. I love the outfit. I love the bow. Okay. And we did get a night thorn in there. Okay, let's look at the next one. Without clicking on it. How did you get that picture outside the night castle? I could not get a picture out there to save my life. How did you do that? Okay, if, if any of you got a picture on the outside of this dark castle, you got to tell me how you did it. Because when I tried, and I tried like five or six times, and I could pull up my camera, but I could not take the photo. So you got to let me know how you did this. But I love this. And the fact that you got the dark castle in it, I am voting for this side because I don't know how you did it. And I love it. Well, guys, this was a whole lot of fun for me, and I'm so glad you came along with me once again this week. So if you like this video, go ahead and check out the next one. And don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and share this video with all your friends. And I will see you guys all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.